Hey there, today we're going to go through some of my favourite commands to use in Minecraft Education Edition. Alright cool, let's check this one out. So there's actually a OneNote to support and help you with this one. I'll put the link in the description. And so it looks a little bit like this. Um, it's got these commands here that we're going to go through today and so it has them all written out for you with kind of some explanations but if you're like me I always prefer learning this visually the very first thing though um, we want to understand is who the commands affect so there are these main types of options around who is affected by them and so you can either affect all of the players you can affect uh, the coding agent, um, we're very rarely going to use that one. All the entities, so that's kind of including er not just the players, but um, kind of the, the NPCs and everything else that's kind of in the, in the world as well. Um, you can just affect the closest player to you in the game. You can randomly affect a player, or you can make it so that the command only affects yourself. Now, I'm going to kind of flick back and forwards between Minecraft itself and um, this actual sheet so you can see them visually and then see me doing it as well. One of the very first and most important things is though if we come back up the top here is how do we actually get to our chat commands. There are a couple of different ways that you can kind of make chat commands work and that is either through what we call a command block or through um, doing a chat command in the chat and so to access the chat command in the chat what we would do is press t or enter so let's bring up minecraft okay so once i'm in the world if i essentially hit t on my keyboard it brings up this here so you can see at the very top in the middle it says chat and command or i can go back out by hitting escape and i can also hit enter and it does exactly the same thing your other option is to run them through a command block. So we're just, I'm just going to show you this once and I'm going to kind of just do the rest as chat commands. Now, believe it or not, to get a command block, you have to run a chat command. So how we do that is we have to open this up and this is how we get a, commands, um, a command block. So it's forward slash. So I'm just typing down the bottom and then it's give, which is give an item to a player. And then it's, um, and you can see how it's prompting you here on the actual screen. And so it's asking you, well, who do you want to give it to? I want to give it to myself. So that is at S. And then I need to type in what it is that I want. Now, sometimes their name's slightly different, but if you go for a generic part of the name, you'll quite often find it. And there it is there. It says command block. You can see that it's first at the top. I can either keep writing that so I can go underscore B L or I can just hit tab and then it fills in the top one. If I wanted the second one, the command block minecart, I would hit tab again and you can see how that's put the minecart part in, but we don't want that one. So let's get rid of it. Whoops. And go enter. There we go. And you can see that this little command block here has appeared. And now, so these are my, my two options, and as I said, we'll kind of practice it both, but then just stick towards chat commands, is if I place this down, there's my command block, and then if I open it up, this is where I can write in my command. So with this specific one, what we're going to do is let's have a look at our very first one that we're going to have a look at today. Here it is here is world builder. Now world builder is essentially giving um, yourself or students the ability to destroy kind of any item in the world. If it's not on your you're a little bit restricted by what you can and can't um, place and destroy. So you may want it on or off and you can control that. And so for this one, you actually don't need it, but we'll write it anyway, the forward slash ability. And then it's at and then it's all we're going to do everyone in the world at all and then we're going to write world builder and then we're going to say that it's going to be true and so there it is there we're not going to worry about changing any of these other settings we might leave this for a different video um, so let's close that out now to make this work you need something to kind of set it off I quite often just like to use a button and if I hold shift um, and then right click, it'll put the button on the command block. 
which means then when I click on this, it will run it. And you can see at the top right, it's run the command. So it's granted world builder to everyone. All right, let's quickly look at our next favorite one, which is give. We've actually already done it a couple of times. So this one's not gonna take us long back here into Minecraft. Let's just say I want to give myself um, a camera in the world, okay? So I'm just going to go enter forward slash give. Now I wanna give it to myself, so it's at S, and then I just start writing camera, there it is. Now if you watch my hot bar, bang, camera's in there, wonderful. I can take a lovely photo, whoops, <laughs> of my command block and me. I don't know if it's gonna actually get the command block in there, but it's pretty simple, done. Got the corner of the command block. Let's look at our next one here. And we might kind of do both of these at the same time. So slowness and blindness. These are my two favorite ones. So I'm gonna go forward slash effect. And then I'm gonna go at myself. And then I'm gonna start writing slowness. And then, so I have to say how long do I want it? So let's just go, um, you know, three seconds because we don't want to waste too much time. And let's just try one as an ampl amplifier and then hit enter. And then you can kind of see how uh, things are, are a bit slow, but then they pick back up again. And I can really, if we go back, and this is actually, here's a really good trick for you, is if I just want to go back to the same command, I just hit the up key. It helps us if I'm in there and I hit the up key. And then let's say if I wanna go maximum amperage, so three seconds for five, and then go enter. You can see how I can, it's so slow and then I'm back to normal. So I've only done three seconds. So you might want like 10, 15, 30 seconds, whatever it may be. It's exactly the same one for blindness, which is my next favorite. So remember it's effect and then it's at, I'm gonna do it to myself and then it's blindness. And then let's go three seconds again. And then uh, let's say like 10 as an amplifier. And then there we go. So I kind of like can't see, but remember that's only running for three seconds. If I wanna run it a bit longer, we would increase this one. Let's go 10 seconds. That's gonna run a lot longer. Now it has a wider span as to how, in, how much you intensify that blindness. Let's say oh, I want to clear it now. It's really simple. So we just go enter forward slash effect and then at all and then it's clear. Nice easy one actually. Bang, gone. That effect is now turned off. All right, let's look at my next one here. It is clearing the hot bar. And uh, this one's kind of cool. I just like to use it for myself because quite often I'll find like my hot bar just gets filled with stuff. So let's just chuck some stuff in here really quickly. You know, I don't really need it all anymore and I want to get rid of it. Now, normally I'd have to drag them all out individually, but I don't want to do that. And so it's a nice, simple one. So forward slash and then clear, gone. Okay, and you could put the at A if you wanted to clear everyone, you know, at someone in particular if you wanted to, but it clears that hot bar out. I actually think I find it super, super helpful when building. Then we've got kind of game modes in here as well. So switching between the three primary game modes. So creative, adventure, survival, forward slash game mode. And then it's what mode do you want to change to? Let's say I'm in creative at the moment. So I'm going to put A for adventure. Okay. And who do I want to do it to? Let's say in hindsight, I want to do it to at all. So everyone. Enter, then you can see, you can see where my hot bar is there, it's actually changed, I'm in adventure mode now. If I wanted to change that back, that's fine. It's just game mode, and then C for creative at all, we're back into creative mode. Our next one here from memory, yep, was teleporting. Okay, so here it is here, how to teleport. Now I'm not really kind of in here with anyone. Let's actually pair it up with this removing the agent one. And so if I go forward slash TP is just for teleporting. And then it says, um, you know, destination. Okay, I wanna go to the agent. So the agent is at V, okay. And then where is, uh, you know, the target basically. And then so I can go at S for self. And then so I bring the destination to me. So you see how they've come to me. If I wanted to swap that, I'd just do it around the other way. So it's forward slash TP. 
and then I would go, okay, well, I want to take myself to the agent. And then it moved me. He should be right there. I'm standing on top of him. Our next one is let's get rid of this agent. So uh, we might have seen that there pop up. There it is. It's forward slash remove at V. Quite often they get in the way. So let's hypothetically say I was building with these blocks for some reason. Who knows why? Um, and then, you know, I'm going, yep. Yeah, gonna put a block there then move them there and then oh you gotta be kidding me this guy is in the way so to get rid of it it's just forward slash and then it is remove and then it's at v bang gone no more agent <laughs> all right so let's look at our last one here it's about turning mobs on and off so i've gone ahead and put some mobs into our world. So there they are, I've just put some chickens in here. And quite often this might be on by default um, and they get annoying. So what we wanna do is we're gonna go forward slash and then it is what we call a game rule. So you write game rule. And then we want to control the ability to allow mobs. So we write allow, which sounds a bit weird at first when you wanna turn it off. Um, we write allow mobs, there it is there. Now, if I want it off, what I just do is go false. So remember, true is on, false is off, enter, they're gone. Okay, and even see now I try to spawn, they don't spawn, they just appear for a moment. And so I could go back and let's bring that back up again, as we know, and I could write true, and that will turn them back on. Okay. So on and off for mobs, super, super helpful. They are kind of my top commands at the moment, the ones that I'm really enjoying using in the classroom. I hope you enjoy them too. We'll see you again soon. Cheers.